Hey comic book fans, welcome back to another episode of Comic Book Geezers. I am Wild Bill, your host, and the founding father of the show, partner in crime right here. I am P. Pardo, how's everybody doing? Hope you're uh, having a good day. Welcome to another edition of Comic Book Geezers. Today it's all about favorite covers once again, uh, Doctor Strange. Yes. So uh, thankfully we have lots of Doctor Strange to choose from because not only did they have the original series, there was a second series and a third series, so... Plus, he was in Strange Tales, so... Uh, oh, and I forgot to pull some Strange Tales ones. Okay, that's all right. Uh, but uh, we have a lot to choose from, so we each pick ten, and uh, we may have some honorable mentions to go with, but uh, I'll have uh, Bill start us off with some of his favorites here. Coming in at number ten, issue 31. I just like this kind of... I almost picked that one. Yeah, that's a good one. He's beheaded just before he's about to lose his head. It's kind of like... Brother Voodoo kind of looking dude. Is and then that Namor? Namor? That's Namor, yeah. In the background? Yeah. He looks like... Uh, he's the rescue. Yeah, he's like... He's kind of got like a gorilla pose, yeah, Namor. Yeah, kind of. That, that, what issue is that? I'm again? thinking Tarzan. <laughs> <laughs> Not Namor. This is number 31. And this is kind of... This guy's like a bad Voodoo dude guy. He's yeah, I was going to say, he's like Brother Voodoo's brother. <laughs> yeah. Bad brother. Evil twin. Yep. Evil yep. Voodoo. Twin brother. <laughs> But that's number thirty-one, so that's my number number nine. Gotcha. All right. So, did you pick ten? Uh, I have eleven. So you know what? I'm gonna okay. I'm gonna leave this as I got one honorable mention. All right. So I'll start with my number ten, uh, which is number fourteen of the Doctor Strange's second run, and the uh, you know Gene Colan and uh, yeah Tom Palmer. Man, I love these two guys that, we, together. That's a good story arc line. Right? Yeah. And, you know, and of course, this is the big battle with Dracula. We covered this on a extended storyline uh, arc show. But, uh, man, there's something about... Is that the one that got deleted? Did it air? No, we aired that one. Yeah, okay. yeah we aired that one. Um, but again, you know, the big battle between uh, Dracula and Doctor, uh, Doctor Strange. Strange. And, of course, uh, 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 Gene Colan and Tom Palmer were, were both drawing and inking both series. So it made yeah. perfect sense. So, yeah, that's my number 10. I got number 9. Uh, That's a good recent one. pickup. Yeah, I almost pulled that one too. I I knew you would because you love the whole eerie mystique. coming from underneath type of thing, right? Yeah. So here you got the the hand grabbing and that's Chloe, Clea, uh, Clea. Clea. Look at Clea. That Chloe. Chloe. <laughs> <laughs> Pappy. Pappy. Chloe. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> uh, well, when you get the idea, yeah. Mystified, eerie, spooky. This the moon is blue. It's not even white. I know. And I'm pretty sure that's a Marie Severin cover. I know how much you love her covers. So. Yeah, this is good stuff. This is yeah. 176. I picked up like four of these recently. I never had any of the Those old original the, Doctor Strange. They're the best, man. They are totally so the I best. So I put a few in my top ten picks. Uh, speaking of Gene Colan and Tom Palmer, they're at it again, number 13. I love this one. Yeah, I, I love a, any cover with Eternity on the front. And this guy's in the original Doctor Strange sci-fi yeah. trippy cover, right? Yeah, Eternity, he, yeah. The, the best, the coolest villain, right? Very cool. I just he looks so, cool. He looks like the universe. Yeah, exactly. I wonder what Galactus would think when he saw he sees him. Like it. Be like his eyes would be popping out. Like <laughs> here goes a meal. Uh, Doctor Strange. Another great one seventy four. I like the flames. Yeah, flame. Look at that, Gene Colan. Flame Colin. Gene Colan masterpiece. It's not the Human right Torch. There. Nope. Power, Power and the Pendulum. Yep. That's a great one. Yeah, colors are awesome on that. Yeah, this one pops. Yeah, I like it. Look at how look at how crisp the blue is in his costume, and then you got the flames. It's just great. Yeah. yeah, another one that I almost pulled. Yeah, so that's my number number seven. Seven. All right, my number seven. Actually, number eight. Ten, nine, eight. How about number five, Frank Brunner? Yes, that's a great one. Yeah, that's a definitely good. I one. love this pose, and Frank Brunner did the best Doctor Strange poses when he's sitting there doing the whole, you know. Yeah, it's the Ronnie James Dio thing. Look at putting, that. Putting the hex out there. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Clea's in trouble, right? So, very cool. I like that one a lot. I'm pretty sure this is a Brunner cover, too. Nice. Frank Brunner. Think you are but correct. this is Marvel premiere. Yeah. And this predates the Doctor Strange this, volume 2. Well, exactly. Yep. Well, so the back. This, this is kind of after volume 1, which we've been showing. Right. That's... Then this came out, and then Volume Two is what you just showed. showed. Yeah, yeah. But I've been shown. Yeah, it's a my first one was from Volume Two. Oh, real? Okay, gotcha. yeah, number thirty-one. Uh, Gene Colan once again, uh, number one eighty-two. 
Batlin the Juggernaut, and of course that is also uh, during the short couple issues where Doctor Strange had, had the, the, mask. the mask, which I thought was pretty cool looking, but they obviously the, the readers at the time didn't feel the same way, so they did away with it. But you know what's really cool about this, uh, and I, Bill, I know you're pretty familiar, like um, Roger Dean. The artist for all those classic Yes album covers. Okay. Look at how, look at the design on the the stone, and everything in the back. It's a, oh, the Roger Dean, very Roger Dean ish. Uh, yeah, yes. yeah, inspired. Exactly, Roger Dean inspired. And I love the Juggernaut, so I had to. I had to. That's pick this definitely one. A cool cover. Yeah, yeah, it's a good good issue. Again, too. another issue from Volume Two, Doctor Strange. This is issue number nineteen. Yep. Gene Colan again. I like all the skulls, the skeletons. Yeah, yeah. You know, ganging up on them. Definitely cool. Remember that movie Maniac when the mannequins come to life? Yep. Kind of same concept there. <laughs> I love Maniac. Maniac yeah, it's a good movie. All right, this is actually, and it's not this ish, this particular issue because it never lasted, and I had to rebuy it again because it was in such terrible shape. But this is was the oldest Doctor Strange in, in collection. my collection that Mrs. Weber gave me back in like nineteen. And what number is this? Uh, one eighty one from the original series. Oh. Yeah, Mrs. Weber it's not gave the Hulk the, 181. No, I, I wish. <laughs> <laughs> I would gladly give this one away for a 181 and just wow. rebuy this. But yeah, this is a very cool cover. Um, you know, again, kind of creepy looking, right? That this is, is definitely cool. He's got the blue mask once again. So that is definitely cool. Yeah, ah, that's yeah, prob probably the best Frank Brunner cover right there. Issue number one yeah. from volume number two. This yeah. is like 1975 or 1974. Classic. 1974. Frank Brunner was so great at doing like serpents and skeletons and all that kind of stuff. I mean, this, this is just so trippy. Oh man, that's yeah. that's poster worthy right there. It's yeah. uh, gothic and it's it's uh, yeah yeah it's medieval and it's mystical. Yep. Right. Yeah. That's sorcery great. at its best. Yep. You know, we didn't get enough strange Frank phenomena. Brunner. You know, I don't think we got enough Frank Brunner covers like that. I mean, that's that's the guy was so good. You know, you you can. He's we like can, another Plug. Yeah, ab abs <laughs> absolutely. You I, know, I totally fantastic know, yeah. at everything yeah. he does, but. Here, you're only going to do six of these and four of these yeah. and two of those and one of these. And really different than Gene Colan. I always say I love Gene Colan stuff the best, but man, Frank Burner was so great, and I guess because we didn't have enough of it to really kind of rate it. But So uh, what, this was, um, I don't know, I think this is my fifth or sixth. Yeah. Sixth. Sixth. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Here's an interesting one. So I love this one too. Number 180. And this is a co-Gene Colan and Steve Ditko rendering. So Steve Ditko drew Eternity, and Gene Colan did Doctor Strange. I think this is an awesome, awesome cover, yeah. And I love the white in the background, which sometimes we come down it should on. should be a giant face of Galactus in the background. <laughs> <Get all laughs> Could you imagine? This dude. Yeah, lunch. <laughs> lunch, yeah, right? <laughs> Although he's not quite a planet. So that's, your, so maybe... that's your number five? Yeah. I think, I think so. here's my number four coming in with issue number four of Marvel Premiere. I love this cover, man. It's, again, with the gothic, eerie, haunted house kind of yeah. full moon in the sky. The zombies there. Yeah. Right? Zombie apocalypse. Yeah. Doctor Strange. And this is a big thing with books from the 1972. They always had, they always did their plug at the bottom yeah. with the yeah. words. You know, the banner was always on the bottom. Yeah. Very cool. Marvel premiere number four. Yeah, I need to get some of those. I'm, I'm very That's my fourth on pick. <clears throat> Uh, you're gonna like this one. This is a Barry Windsor Smith cover, the only Ooh. the only one he did. So number one seventy nine. You got Spider Man on there. Yeah, uh, very different. Look at it. I mean, you can totally tell it's Barry Windsor Smith if you're familiar with the old Conan issues. This totally looks like him. You know, normally he's not a superhero. Put guy. that back up there, please. Kirk said that this story has nothing to do with the cover on the inside. It's another one of those deadline failures. Yeah, yeah, that is true. You want to tell us about so that? that. I love that. I'll do one Sorry to burst your bubble. I'll show it to you. Oh. So it has nothing to do with the cover? Or is Spider-Man's like on the first panel? And it's, a, it's actually what it is. It's a reprint from the Tales of Suspense. Um, Featuring what? The Human Torch? No, it's it's got Spider-Man and Doctor Strange. But this is all with Steve Ditko art. And it's, uh, like I said, it's, uh, I forget which. Um, it's a letdown? No, no, I mean, it's good. <laughs> it's, it's, you know, it's all right. It's I'm already nothing getting depressed. <laughs> But it's it's not you know totally not what the cover is all about and uh, yeah. I think they they wanted to go somewhere Which else. Is why I didn't buy it. Yeah, but you know Kirk it's worth told having. Me about that, I was like, really, I better put that back. Yeah, but it's yeah. you know I mean it's got the the wonderful psychedelic artwork of Steve Ditko throughout, and it's got Spider Man in it. So and it's, it's got Spider Man in it. But it, you know it's the old costume for Doctor Strange. It's a really early issue, and uh, you know it's if you don't have the Strange it's, Tales issue, it's worth it's getting. It's kind of a flat top. 
But the <laughs> right? yeah, exactly. But the cover is amazing. Yeah, it by is. Barry Windsor Smith, the guy not known for doing superheroes much, but uh, Marvel. But uh, but yeah, worth you know, obviously worth having. But uh, yeah, don't expect some brand new story because it's not. It's a, we're late on deadlines. Mm. All right, number three uh, coming in, volume two, number six, Doctor Strange. Frank Brunner once again. Yeah, look at this. Look I just skeletons, love, man. He loves the skeletons. It, it's like a volcano yeah. kind of thing, you know. She's up above him. Evil bats flying around. This cover has it all. Holy big cape, you know, yep. the swishy cape, and the you can just see like the evil wind blowing. You know, you can get that feel effect. Like it's blowing my hair back, just showing yep. it to you. And I just got a haircut recently, so I think that cover somewhat captures the um, the gothic brilliance that Gene Colan always brought to the table on this on Doctor Strange, but yeah. it's still squarely Frank Brunner. Yeah, right? you know. He rocks. Yeah, he's he's dominating most of my picks today. Speaking of Gene Colan, can you tell he's my favorite? Um, this is one seventy eight. Here's a cool one. He got uh, that's the the mask. Again. The mask again, and of course you got the Black Knight, right? Co star in the Black Knight. Uh, again, this is a simple cover, um, but I think the two character, the two main characters, really stand out here uh, in front of all that green there. So pretty cool. Dull green. Yeah, works. Number two. Yeah, it's like, wow, look at that. Marvel cool. premiere number eight. This is Jim Starlin cover. Yeah, look at that. Yeah. I like the evil demon on the roof there looking down over Doctor Strange while he's working on his little trippy spell here trying to pick six winning lottery numbers. <laughs> he's got three up there, the three little yellow dots. But this is an unknown. Could be bad vibes, the green. Yeah. Matching his head. You know, look out, Doctor Strange. Got a lot of blah, blah, blah here. <laughs> but it's okay. I can't read it backwards. <laughs> yeah, number two. Doctor Strange, Marvel premiere, issue number eight. Yeah, very Love cool. that book. So how many of the Marvel premieres do you have now, or do you need? Are you looking to get a good good chunk of them? I have... How, I need, how long did that go for, like 14 issues? Well, like he with, ended with 14, and then 15 is the first Iron Fist. Right, 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 yeah. And it go, that book goes for at least 50 issues, because the yeah, 50th yeah, issue is yeah, no, Alice Cooper. Yeah, I was just asking about his idea. It was about 14. Right? Yeah, he yeah. came in issue three on this. Yeah. Warlock was one and two. Doctor Strange is number three. So the third one I don't have. That's the pricey one, because it's yeah. the first Doctor Strange. And the first Warlock and number one, that's, that's through the roof, too. And so are the Iron Fist. I think I have issue 20 through 24 with the... Iron Fist. Yeah, the first one's... A, yeah, I don't have 15 through 19 on that. And then you got the Sabretooth one, which is now ridiculously priced. So know. I have them all. I need, like I just said, I, I don't have one and I don't have three, but I have all the others up to 14. Hmm. But originally, number 12 was the only one I got, which was for my friend Joe. Marvel Premiere. That was the only one I had of Doctor Strange, period, in my collection okay. until uh, I started buying. So what's your number two pick here? 177. Uh, so this is the premiere of the mask, the era, mask, right? So here you got both. Um, I just think this is a gorgeous cover. Uh, Hail the Colin? master! No, yeah, Gene yeah. Colin the Hail the master! Yes, Gene Colan. Um, just a, a electric cover. I love the covers, and uh, yeah, it's fantastic. Speaking of loving the covers, yeah, my favorite cool. Doctor Strange of any cover is a, another Frank Brunner cover, I believe. Baron Mordo, the classic number eleven. Villain. Yeah, what a Marvel villain. premiere number eleven. Yeah, that's great. Yeah, this is just really, really cool. A thorn in and, his And you uh, could almost be mistaken. Is that the Mandarin? But it's not green. It's purple. Yeah, that's Baron Mordo. Yeah, but definitely Evil cool. one. You know, I, I would even accept the Mandarin if they put him in here instead, <laughs> you know, because he had the evil rings. Did, you know? man, did Mandarin ever fight Doctor Strange? Not to my uh -huh. knowledge, right? Not to my knowledge. But that would be a good match. But yeah, the great use of colors. I like the yellow banner across yeah, the top. Yeah, it works. Definitely. It works. Here you have it, the greatest Doctor Strange cover in the history of Wild Bill's famous bullshit stories. <laughs> so now I have some honorable mentions. Well, you have your number one pick. I got my number one pick. Let's uh, see. I love Dormammu. I think that's probably my favorite villain of uh, of Doctor Strange. So I had to pick an issue with him. One seventy two. Yep. Gene Colan. Look at those colors on that. The the battle of the ages. I Dormammu going against Doctor Strange. Um, yeah, I just love this one. And this again is a Gene Colan, Tom Palmer, a masterpiece. From issue 172. Here's another one. Yeah, that's, that's a great Honorable answer. mention. Marvel premiere number 14. I'm not sure. I, I'm not sure if this is Frank Brunner. 
I think it is. Because I uh, think he did till the end. I'm not sure. I could I, be wrong. I don't know. I I'm don't not know. sure. Yeah, I'm not I, sure. Anyway, it looks good. Yeah. It's eye candy. Doctor Strange, giant size number one. I think they only did one. I think that's a Gil Kane cover. Yeah. I'm pretty sure. Here it is. Doctor Strange. Uh, I already showed it before. Honorable mention number 13. Yeah, yeah. Definitely cool. That's definitely a Frank Brunner cover. Yes, cover. Like number that 12. Yeah, this was the only Doctor Strange, as I mentioned before, in my collection. When I was Look at how plug like that is, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's great. This one I got from my friend Joe. Would you like to see the authenticity? <laughs> I've it's talked about it so many it's, times. The signature on my the My friend inside? Joe. <laughs> I can always tell when I got a comic from my friend Joe, because he, he gave me his, his stack, which was like 30 or 40 books when I was a kid. Here's an authentic Joey B comic book. Go. That's what it looks like. And I don't care. The autograph on the, on the inside. Yes. Yeah, it's, it's not harming nobody. No, that's 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 what you call comic book collecting gold right there. That somebody else owned this and took the time to write their name inside it. That's my comic book. Give me that back. What are you doing? <laughs> it's Joey B's. Anyway, honorable mentions moving right along. I got another Doctor Strange for you. Honorable mention. I would hope so. This is a Doctor Strange episode. Yes. <laughs> Volume 2. I'm jumping around. This is uh, issue uh, 18. I like the dragon on it. <clears throat> on the the dragon. It's all about the dragon. Yep. You know, mystified. Sorcery. Go back to your evil realm. <laughs> Demon. Demon dragon. Demon spawn. Yes. Doctor Strange Volume 2, number 20. Very cool. Yep. Like this cover. Got some serious controversy. Mystical combat. Warlocks and sorcerers. And then another last uh, honorable mention, number 17. Gene Colin. Yeah, there you go. That's a great one. Very mystical in the background. Your evil fog. With the fog. It could be a Tomb of Dracula cover, right? With the fog, yeah. right? Classic. Mystical, evil fog. Let me get out of here. This looks like trouble. Yep. So that's it for my favorite covers of Doctor Strange. And I got one honorable mention. Uh, oh, Bob sick. Layton, who we have not talked about here, did some of the later stuff. Uh, here's issue number 41 of uh, Volume 2. And, of course, here you got uh, Doc and the Man-Thing. That's Twisting the Man-Thing? That's the Man-Thing. Yeah, I know. He looks not as mucky on there. He right? looks like the Hulk. Yeah, exactly. He's a little too green. Not, There's no not, purple pants. Not that's not what, it's like, who is that? That's... <laughs> but a cool cover. kind of reminds Definitely me of cool. like Vertigo or like, you know, high They're anxiety. in a whirlpool of... Whatever. Mud. Yeah, exactly. Maelstrom at the center of time. Well, that's so, uh, pretty cool, I think. That's a cool Bob Layton cover. So Definitely cool. There you have it. Anyway, I'm Wild Bill, as always, saying thanks for being here. Please click the notification bell so you can be kept in the loop every time we got a video. Thank you for your comments and your subscriptions, and keep telling your friends about comic book geezers. Apparently, you guys like what we're doing, so we'll keep doing more. We will do that. And uh, if you're interested in some comic book users merch, there's the, the cool coffee mug there's as well as a t-shirt available in the Sea of Tranquility Don't merch. Be a sap. Page. Don't be a sap, guys. Don't order be a sap, order some kids. merch. So if, if you click on the link below in the uh, video's description, you'll get taken to the Sea of Tranquility merch page. Go all the way down to the bottom of that page, and there you'll see the comic book user stuff. So uh, go get yourself some. Be one of the cool guys, one of the cool kids on the block. And you know, walk around with a... Welcome uh, to the wood community. That's right. The adventures of wood. Mm -hmm. People will look at you. I put this shirt on and walk through town, and people were like, looking at me. You know, like... And it's like, it's wood. It won't hurt you. Wood is good. Yeah. Where can you get your wood shirt? Just ask. I'll tell you, damn it. <laughs> anyway, I'm Wild Bill. As always saying, thanks for being here. We'll see you next time. And I'm Pete. Have a good one, everybody. See you in a couple days. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.